At the World War II memorial site in Washington, D.C., veterans, Holocaust survivors, military representatives and their families held a public ceremony on Sunday to commemorate the 66th anniversary of Victory Day in Europe. On his week-long tour of America, NATO Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen attended the event to pay tribute to the enormous sacrifice made by Americans. You defended the freedom of Europe. You made it possible for future generations to enjoy peace and democracy. We thank you. The Secretary General pointed out that one of the lessons of World War II was the need for a strong transatlantic security partnership, which led to the creation of NATO in 1949. NATO forged a bond between America and Europe that still endures today. We are two continents united to protect shared values, freedom, democracy, and humanity. At the Freedom Wall, the Secretary General joined veterans and Holocaust survivors for a wreath-laying ceremony. Each of the 4,048 gold stars here represents a hundred of the more than 400,000 American service members killed or missing in World War II. One of the veterans attending the ceremony was Sir Stanley Wotuzik, who when he was just 19 fought in the Battle of Bulge in Belgium, the largest land battle ever fought by the U.S. Army. The 86-year-old says he meets fewer of his fellow veterans here each year, as they are dying at the rate of 1,500 a month. He's happy to see more young people showing an interest again this year. Last year there were nothing but senior citizens around, but this year, for some reason or other, the young people seem to be coming, they seem to be more interested. Maybe it's the war in Afghanistan, Iraq, and what's happening in Libya and, and the other North African countries. One of those younger people showing an interest is Jason Baller, who has come to hear the speeches and is reminded of his grandfather. My grandfather fought in, in Europe. He fought uh, against Hitler. He fought in the Battle of Bulge. And, you know, it's it, World War II, it's important to me. It's important to honor our veterans. And that's why we're here watching it today. So I want my kids to understand, you know, what, what, you know, what they serve for and what, you know, what they fought against. For the NATO Channel, I'm Mike Mühlberger reporting from Washington.